Get ready for the ride of your life. This is Police Files Unlocked. Freeways are designed to be safe, but even the best designs can't stop accidents. As you're about to see, it only takes a split second for a simple drive to turn into a life or death struggle. These cops are in the right place at the right time. They're waiting for a tow truck, and that's their patrol cars parked up the road there. When you hear the screeching tires, you know nothing good comes at the end of it. Take a look. There's the four-wheel drive. The driver of the gold car in front taps his brakes. The four-wheel drive's travelling much too close, swerves and... But the driver's OK. I think if our patrol cars weren't there at the time the accident happened, I think the vehicle would have definitely rolled over and it could have been much worse. Worse, all right. The cops could have been sitting in their car. You're looking through the windscreen of a pursuing cop car. The guy in that car has been firing his gun at other drivers. It's scary stuff. The cops are moving in fast. They know they have to act before someone gets hurt. It looks like the guy with the gun is in the back and a woman is driving. The cops pour on the pressure. This could all be over pretty quickly until one of the cops realises the gun is pointed at the woman's head. He could see the gun laying across there, pointed right at her head, and that's when he yelled, it's a hostage situation. The bad guys hijacked a car and kidnapped the woman driver. The sirens have caused a traffic jam. There's no way through. The vehicle was trapped in by a pickup truck that was trying to get out of the way. I really thought that he had just killed somebody right in front of me. The driver of that ute gets the hell out of the way in record time. The guy with the gun has shown how very serious he is. You can see a cruiser moving in now. That's the rear window flying over and he's into the wall. I observed the, wind, the back window come out of the car. I saw the barrel of the shotgun pointing at us, and I said, oh, no, here we go. Hey, this guy's shooting at us right now. I could hear the little plink noises coming off of the, uh, off the hood. All the gunfires made the woman hostage panic. She nearly wipes out both of them. This whole thing just keeps getting worse and worse. <laughs> Dispatch tells us that there's an Amber Alert out on, the, on this car. It changed everything. An Amber Alert means there's a child in the car. Any cop who hears that knows that extreme care must be taken. But there's a problem. The cops aren't all on the same radio channel. So some of them don't know about the toddler inside the car. And they're chasing that car hard. They're coming up on some traffic here. Oh, just slammed into the truck. The driver was thrown out, and the car is still going. It's crossing the shoulder. Coming up. Inside that car, a mother and her child have been taken hostage by a man holding a shotgun to her head. He's forcing her to escape the cops. It's putting all their lives in danger. They're coming up on some traffic here. Oh, just slammed into the truck. The driver was thrown out, and the car is still going. It's crossing the shoulder, heading onto the grass. An unbelievable accident here. Cruisers are moving in. She hit the truck. All of a sudden, you know, she comes flying out of the car on the freeway. That lady should say a prayer for whoever invented the airbag. That's the only reason she's still alive. Vehicle cranked out, right now. 
That car's total. But she's not even scratched. Somewhere in the wreck, though, is her kid. I just maneuvered my car in between her and the guy with the gun that was still in the car. Start hearing shots being fired from all the different police agencies, and it was chaos. They didn't know that there was a child in the car. I started running, screaming there was a kid in the car as loud as I could, because I was scared to death that that poor kid was going to get hurt. Every single cop takes his finger off the trigger, but the damage could already be done. With the gunman still inside, the only option is tear gas. Out of all that chaos, the cops capture the gunman and rescue the child. Through the whole thing, the child restraint did its job. She's safe. With the accidents and all the gunfire that took place, it, it was just a miracle of God that that child was not injured. It takes a real low life to kidnap a mother and daughter like that. They're all lucky to still be alive. But now, he'll be spending the rest of his life in jail.